box up top to drop your items in, whether it's food or stone or whatever. This also works with smokers. Right, I don't have this one because it's set up and you just smoke all your stuff. And a con container box to pass the <coughs> thing. And I use this to smelt for all my smelting I need over here. Um, I'm going to do a quick smelt now. I want to show you first of all on this side here. Um, any hopper that's attached to the side of an oven feeds the fuel. Any hopper on top of the item, the oven, feeds the items to be cooked. So here, drop lava buckets, as many as I want. They will fall into the hopper. They are not falling into the hopper. I wasn't attached to the hopper. I gotta get up. More. Gotta be properly anchored in. The way to do that is to hop down. If you're crouching, you don't actually exit the hopper. Now, oh, I know, I need to do that. Right. Way to go. Nothing flammable over here. Did that on purpose because it's a kitchen. All right, in here. Is not working. My switch is off. My hopper switch. Of course it's off. So this hopper switch will block out any hopper that's attached directly to it. That was what the problem was. The reason I put the hopper switch in there is because you cannot get your XP if everything's dropping straight to it. So I put my lava buckets inside chest up top that gets redistributed into the hopper and as your hopper empties out you're going to get your lava bucket for refilling it everything will go through the bottom hopper when it's done cooking into the bottom and since we're cooking we can dump it let me show you what we're doing that we've got one two three up in the top here I can just dump all of my raw stuff, you see it's already dropping into the hopper below. It fills up this hopper. After this hopper fills up, it then fills up this hopper, this furnace. It's going to burn. Now, the benefit of doing it like this is you can just drop all your items in here, have a good stash of fuel. I use lava because you can cook your raw stuff with lava. And your cooked food lava bucket comes out of the bottom. The lava, in case you're wondering, I don't go hunting for it. I've created this little infinite lava drip. It's solid block up top. Let me get a view of this so you guys can see it. And I've had to find lava somewhere in the world. I came back with one bucket and I did the first one. So you need a good trough up here to hold your lava. Below that trough, you need to have another solid block. Underneath that solid block, you need a pointed dripstone and then a cauldron. You can see the drip on the pointed dripstone. That is filling up your cauldron. And it will continue to fill it up after 
you scoop out of it. Come back here in a couple minutes, you'll find both of these full again. So if you start with one and make sure it's properly blocked off at the top, you can fill your first cauldron. Then you can use that bucket of lava to get a second one going in the chain. They don't all have to be attached. I just do it for space reasons. Uh, and just keep going. From these two, you can get two more lava buckets and add two more and add two more. I just keep going from there. Um, I find six is more than enough. And with a few extra buckets, I can come back to my kitchen, fill all this up, and it's good to go. Now, I could also do my ores in here. I'm not going to bother. This, again, is not a full setup. I don't need it to be a full setup because I'm not burning that much stuff. So you don't need to put uh, chests all over the place. You can do just fine with that. Because um, over here, I'm burning 24 iron. 28 copper so I can just put those right into the hopper above and just drop them all in okay, just like that walk away let it do its thing when you come back just take a peek in here and you're gonna see everything that you had is dropping in there's your copper so it'll fall in in whatever order you have it up here so if you needed your iron to be done quickly you want to put your iron first, it prioritizes first in a row. It's that simple. Um, I can leave this be. If I open up my furnace, you'll see my first lava bucket has barely moved. I don't know how many exactly you can do that, but you can definitely do more than one stack on a lava bucket. Maybe close to 100 items. And if we go over here, like I said with the switch, if you turn this switch off, oh, I did it again. I'll borrow this one. Thank you kindly. I gotta stop holding lava buckets if I am. So, I'm gonna put this back up here. It's in the on position, which means it's still feeding through this hopper. And, and fuel is still coming through this hopper. If I turn this off, if I turn that off, come back over here. We're going to see it's no longer dropping through the hopper. As soon as I collect my last item out of the furnace, that's when I get my XP. Otherwise, you're going to find the second it's cooked, it automatically drops right through it. It's near impossible to grab it. Don't bother. Just put a switch up there. Stop dropping. dropping and you should be good to go. Remember the thing about furnaces, if you walk away too far, it'll simply stop cooking and then continue to come back. Of course, they have to place it up. Um, I extended my kitchen in order to be able to do this full setup. And while I'm doing this, there are some things that I can't move in the glass furnace, like sand. So I can have one going over here to have all my cooked items. I can have another one over here to put some sand in or stone. Um, I didn't have to do a single chest. I could have done a double chest for one and another double chest for another. That also worked just fine. I could double up the chests here for feed and fuel. Again, I don't need to because I still have one lava bucket there, one on standby here, and of course the one that's currently burning. So I'm currently that back up, put that in my fuel stash, and it pops your own. That's it for infinite lava, remember, fuel source. I now only have to use my coal for torches, oh, I need to bring that else. so that gives me three stacks of coal blocks, and Seven, eight, 
whole stacks of um, coal, eight and a half stacks of coal. So I've got as much coal as I will ever need because I have been able to stop making it in furnaces, which is going to go boom. All right, thanks for uh, checking in, thanks for following. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.